What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about this Acer Chromebook 14. So it is 2018 and this is a 2016 product. So you might be wondering why is this guy talking about a 2016 product in 2018? Well part of the reason why is because I had accidentally purchased it. I kind of felt like a, you know I show catfish? You know, you, you get excited about something, you think it's what it is, and then boom, it's not. What the heck? So I saw this Chromebook listed on Amazon, and it was probably in the early hours of the morning, probably with one eye open, and I saw it for $200. Now, the listing said 2018 Acer Chromebook 14, and I bought it. I bought it thinking that it was a 2018 Chromebook. So I have it in my hands. Let's talk about it. It weighs in at 3.4 pounds. This Chromebook comes with a 100% aluminum body. At that time when it was released, which is uh, 2016, it was a big deal because there weren't that many Acer Chromebooks with aluminum bodies. So all the ones uh, from before were plastic. The aluminum body feels nice. It's like a smooth finish. What I like about it is that it doesn't seem to attract like fingerprints and it's also not rough or doesn't have like heavy textures on it. It's a, it's a beautiful aluminum body. This one probably, you can hear it. This one has a little bit more texture on the bottom. That top part, whoo, that's a beautiful smooth aluminum finish. Oh, look at that. USB 3.0 and an HDMI port, and of course, a lock port. So these are the ports on the other side. You have a charging port, you have a headphone jack, and then you have the light indicator. What's interesting is that there is no memory card reader on this computer. So with the storage that you're gonna get, you cannot be able to expand it. For whatever crazy reason, Acer decides to put the speakers facing down. So they're underneath the laptop and they're facing down. Which is okay if the laptop is on a flat surface, the sound waves will, you know, they'll bounce out. So you'll be able to hear it. Unfortunately, when you have it on your lap, well this is what happens to the music, it gets muffled. So you have it like this, okay. As soon as you start typing. The keyboard is very comfortable to type on. The trackpad is huge, I like it, it's smooth. Let me uh, have you listen to the clicks on it. The trackpad feels like it's firmly held in place. It doesn't move around. I remember when I had the Acer uh, C720s, man, those trackpads were horrible. The screen is a 14 inch full high definition 1080p IPS screen. Resolution is 1920 by 1080. That 1080p screen is beautiful. It has a matte finish. The colors are slightly warmer than other Chromebooks that, uh, that I've used, but it's nice. I like it. Let's talk about performance. So this is running a Intel N3160 processor. And there you have the Octane score, 7,786, which is on the low end. Uh, here's an example. This is Facebook. I just loaded up the page. So as you scroll down, you're, you're gonna you know, be able to see these pauses where it's loading, 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 and then as you scroll down, you hit the next one, loading, loading, loading. So let's say you're on Amazon and you're, you, know, you wanna take a look at this. <laughs> Acer Chromebook 14, so here we are. So as it loads on the left side, what you'll notice is that the photos, you can't see them yet. They're not loading just yet. The little hand is on the images, but they're not showing up just, okay, now they're starting to show up. Let's try a uh, homedepot.com. All right, did pretty decent. <clears throat> Here we are, scrolling up and down. All right, all right. So, let's go ahead and go to all departments. There we are, okay. It's not, it's not bad. So now let's go into, let's pick something. Uh, kitchen faucets. Okay. So right now we have 
one, two, three, four tabs open. Let's open up a, a fifth one and let's go to uh, YouTube.com and let's see how it does. Okay, it took a few seconds to load uh, the icons. Not a big deal for a lot of people. Let's see what's uh, trending. Let's pick a video. So even though that processor is on the low end of power, it still does okay. Uh, it's the power users or the people that w expected like a really strong processor are the ones that are going to be bothered by it. But there is a trade-off to that. The expected battery life on this computer is rated at up to 12, 12 hours. Right there. 12 hours! So the battery is a... 3,900 milliamp lithium polymer battery. And you definitely feel like it lasts a long time. Of all the Chromebooks that I have owned in my life, this one takes the cake for battery life. Let's test to see how this does with 1080p video. So we're at two minutes into this video, or two minutes and six, eight, and it'll show you right here how many frames it has dropped. It's a very low amount. So it runs 1080p video decently. It's nice, beautiful screen aluminum body great battery life but it is definitely not worth three hundred dollars today my recommendation is this one if you can get it I, I you know like 200 or less which right now for whatever reason I see a huge influx in refurbished of these and they're all over Amazon and they're showing up and, as well as eBay and you can find them for 179 180 190 200 I bought this one for 200 <laughs> and then I saw it lower on eBay. <laughs> it happens, whatever.